What's up guys, it's Mike here. So this one's been a long time coming. It took a lot longer than I expected to get this part two of the paint job on my 1970 PA39 Twin Comanche, but it's here and thanks for sticking around so long and waiting for this. Rest assured, it did not take this long to get the paint job done. Just took a long time for me to get around to getting all the footage together and editing it into this final package. So a lot of you have been asking, how did it turn out? Well, you be the judge. It's kind of badass, huh? Works well, that is. So I'm going to pick up this video where I left off in part one, which is where I had just dropped it off at the paint shop. Now, I didn't mention the name of the shop in the first video because I was going to wait and see how the final results turned out before I had anything to say, good or bad, about the shop. So after all is said and done, I'm happy to report that I took my Twin Comanche to Jeff Walker at uh, PaintYourPlane.com. That's the website, otherwise known as the American Plane Painting Company. I took it to Jeff because of a few good reviews I'd read online and Facebook forums, and because he gave me a very competitive price quote to paint my twin Comanche. And unlike some of the other folks I talked to, Jeff's company was willing to include custom paint scheme design as part of the price. So after working a long time on those paint designs, which you saw in part one, I finally decided on two final designs. Uh, they were basically direct inversions of each other, one with a white top and a dark bottom, and the other was the opposite. Now Jeff kept me updated as to the progress of my airplane at various stages throughout the paint job. First, they stripped the paint down to the bare aluminum. Then they alodined the airframe for corrosion resistance and to prepare the surface for next steps. Next was the primer coat, then the base coat color white upon which the rest of the scheme was built upon. Jeff actually uses a technique that really surprised me, and that was a projector that actually projects the custom design onto the aircraft so then someone can come behind and trace it out and it's done very easily this way. Now this may totally be an industry standard thing, but it still impressed me nonetheless, and I'd never heard of it. Oh, and I did take the opportunity, as I alluded to in my first video, to upgrade the wingtip lights on my Twin Comanche. So I got rid of the old factory ones and installed Whelan Orion 600 LEDs, which is great because now all the exterior lighting on my aircraft is modern and LED based. As you'll see, I think the plane turned out great, and I think you'll agree as well. So when it was all said and done, Jeff did stick to his price estimate, and he did his best to deliver on time. There were a few delays, but I do believe that most, if not all of them, were really out of Jeff's hands. He told me initially to expect four to five weeks for the paint job, and in the end it took him about seven weeks to get it done. Now if you're looking to get a paint job done, and you have some flexibility around the completion date, I would highly recommend that you strongly consider Jeff an American Plane Painting Company. He's a good guy, and he did his best to make things right for me when things didn't go as planned. And in the end, I think that the value for dollar that Jeff's company provides really can't be beat. So when he was done, I booked the one-way flight down to Alabama so that I could pick up the plane for the big reveal and then fly it home. Jeff and I had been talking back and forth a lot about how the paint would look different in direct sunlight, especially since I was choosing metallic colors. And I have to admit, it was really cool to see that in person here, how the, the paint really did pop in direct sunlight. So 
I got the plane home and a few weeks later I had the time to get out to the aircraft and do some walk arounds here on video and of course the weather was and the schedule allowed as well so I took it for a spin. The interesting thing is the paint really does look different in sunlight and not in direct light and I enjoy the way it looks in both conditions. You know, I heard a wise man once say that if you can walk away from your airplane without looking back at her every time you leave, then something's wrong. And I'd have to agree, especially after getting a paint job done. Manassas ground, twin Comanche 89003 Yankee, east ramp and Foxtrot with information, November, VFR to the west. Twin Comanche 89003 Yankee, Manassas ground, departure frequency 128.52, squawk 5506, runway 16, correction runway 348, taxi via Bravo. 128.52, squawk 5506, uh, 348 via Bravo, 03 Yankee. Alright, so what we're doing today is we're doing a nice little flight. Uh, Finally got a good chance and opportunity to go up and fly the plane around and get some good footage of the uh, new paint job in action, so to speak. So we're gonna we're gonna fly up to a local field here, get some tanker up on some cheap fuel, and uh, have a nice little uh, brief flight today in this uh, beautiful winter day. Comanche zero three Yankee traffic in the upwind of Cessna, left turn as well to the west, runway three four right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff three four right zero three Yankee. Commander 46 Juliet, left turn 1 April, taxi west ramp via Alpha, monitor ground, have a great day. 46 Juliet, thank you, left turn 1 April, I'm over to the Okay, 
I'm going to do a quick power check here. This is Major Lady Alpha, contact the Temex departure. Have a good flight. Lights are off. Fuel pumps are off. Time checklist is complete. Beautiful day to fly. All right, I'm already up to my altitude. Mission 03 Yankee, contact Potomac departure. Have a good flight. Over to Potomac. Thanks for your help, 03 Yankee. Potomac departure, Twin Comanche 890 03 Yankee, 2,300 feet off an S. 3903 Yankee, Potomac departure, your transponder is observed, proceed on course outside of Bravo. On course outside of Bravo, 03 Yankee. 03 Yankee, traffic 12 o'clock at about a mile, maybe more like 1 o'clock at about a mile, same direction, Skyhawk 2300. I have that traffic in sight, uh, should be no factor, 03 Yankee. 03 Yankee, thank you. Uh, 8 Julian Alpha traffic just behind you, as you inside Spring Command, it looks like they're going to be going off your left. We'll be charging for traffic for you, Julian Alpha. Traffic Twin Comanche 890 Yankee is 5 to the northeast. We'll be entering an extended downwind, left downwind for rolling 4 Culpepper. Downwind. I'll descend into the pattern altitude and uh, give way to those that are already established in the pattern. Call Pepper. Call Pepper traffic, Archer 356 Minor Delta is to the south at 3,000, eight mile straight in, long final to runway four on the RNF. Call Pepper. 69 Delta. Over to Sky Vento, 120 turned left base for runway four. Call Pepper. Alpha's 10 miles to the north on the RNAV 22, and we're going to go miss it. Call Pepper. Freeway traffic, 8 Echo Romeo, right downwind, 3 6, the freeway. We're going traffic, so it's 3 2 1, 8 0 3, crosswind, 3 2 1, go. Traffic scavenger 120, turn final, runway 4, Call Pepper. And Call Pepper traffic, Twin Command G 03 Yankees now joining the left downwind, runway 4, Call Pepper. Downwind, three two, one, we leave in the path today. Right, red, blue, green, three down and locked, fuel pumps on. Cold pepper traffic, savages 122, left base for runway four, cold pepper. Cold pepper traffic, November 928, Alpha Charlie, five miles northwest, inbound for four. 
Cold Pepper traffic, Archer 35600 Delta is on a five mile file and on the RNAV runway four at Cold Pepper. And Cold Pepper traffic, Twin Comanche 8900 3 Yankees turning left base behind that Cessna traffic, uh, runway four at Cold Pepper. Cold Pepper traffic, Sky Ventures 122 on final runway four at Cold Pepper. Runway 32, number 245, 120. November 340, Alpha, right 45 down, traffic, Twin Comanche, Zero Three Yankees, turning final, will be a full stop, runway 4, Culpepper. Okay, red, blue, green, runway's clean. Fully configured for landing. Cold Pepper traffic, Sky Ventures 122, upwind for runway 4, staying in the pattern. Cold Pepper. Cold Pepper traffic, Archer 35600 Delta is on a 3 mile final on the RNAV runway 4, Cold Pepper. Cold Pepper traffic, 928 Alpha Charlie is on the 45 for 2-2, two, two, uh, two miles. So what do you guys think? I really like the airplane. I think it turned out great, especially considering the price that I paid for it. I seriously considered choosing the inverse of this paint scheme, where the top of the aircraft would be white and the bottom would be charcoal. And I considered this for some pretty obvious reasons. One, uh, the top you know, is gonna attract a lot of heat in the, in the intense summer heat. And the bottom of the aircraft would be a lot easier to sort of hide when it gets dirty if it had a dark underbelly. But in the end, I thought this scheme just was a lot cooler, for a lack of a better way to put it, and it really just spoke to me that it was gonna be a little more special and a little more different. And you know what? I'm glad I did. As always, if you guys liked this vid, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, don't fly too low or too slow.